we're now going to go on to the electronic bits and the pieces about the gaming gun. Now, there's a few things to note. There's a charging uh, point here. That's to charge the battery. Okay, and you've also got the LCD display on here. All right, this is a backlit display. When you push the black button, that comes up. Um, and you take it off, the, the backlight will turn away. You don't really know in day, but at night time, you might want to see the display. It's very important the display's not on all the time, the backlight. Because when you're doing night games, the players want to be stealthy. All right, so we really only comes on when they want it to come on. It doesn't come on when they shoot. The other time it does come on is at the end of the game when it says game over. All right, we'll cover that more later. With the muzzle flash, in which you see, the it actually has three points. It's called the Predator muzzle flash. This is really cool. It has three emitters that fire at a time, and they're all around the center, and they create three points. And in indoor stuff, uh, gaming, you can actually aim with the muzzle flash, and the infrared beams right in the middle of it. Fantastic as well, software configurable, so you can have either white muzzle flash, red muzzle flash, or green muzzle flash, um, which also matches up with your hit lights. You can have a red hit light or green hit light. Um, we usually use red. Now, we have in the models, we actually have a range of gaming gun models, and we've purposely broke them up into a sci-fi range and more the military range, depending on what people need to do. So the sci-fi range, things like the Scorpion and the Commando and the Pulse Rifle and the Marita, are all based on more sci-fi theme, um, and particularly the Commando and Scorpion are purposely designed without barrels, so they're really not threatening at all, and can use them for mobile operations and church groups and these sort of things, where you might need to tame things down a little bit. Um, then we've also got the military theme, want to go a little bit more of that uh, Call of Duty type of thing. You've got the things like the M4, the P90, um, personal defense weapon, the M16, um, and those type of things can really, really bring up the gaming experience. They go, wow, look at this, we're really into the, into the experience. So, hope you enjoyed this for part of the video presentation. Oh, okay.